In this training video, we'll show you how to use data views to view and edit data in MarketSite. A data view is a simple table with columns and rows containing raw data. Each row is an individual record in your data set. Each column is a different variable. For survey data, each row represents one survey response, and each column represents one survey question. A data view is used to view and edit raw data, including open-ended or verbatim survey responses. We begin on the data view page. To add a new data view, click New in the action bar. If you've ever created a crosstab, this screen should look familiar. The editing tools appear on the left, and the preview is on the right. First, let's enter a name for this data view. We'll call it Training Data View. The description field is optional, but it's useful if you'd like to provide more detail. To specify which variables and which data will be included in the data view, we drag and drop one or more variables from the window on the left to the two-tabbed window on the right. The Columns tab will define which variables are included. The Filters tab will define which data is included. Leaving the Filters tab empty will mean that all data from the data set will be included in the data view. As you can see, the variables are grouped by category. We can click on the plus sign next to the categories to take a look at the variables in these categories. The Display dropdown allows us to choose between displaying variable names, codes, or both. The sort dropdown allows us to sort the variables in the order in which they appear in the survey or alphabetically. We can also search for variables using keywords. Let's type supernova in the search box. MarketSite retrieves the variables that contain the keyword supernova in the variable name. We click the X to clear our search options and return to designing our data view. Let's define our columns by adding monthly cell phone bill, monthly minutes used, and current provider from the general usage category. You can see that as we add our variables to the columns tab, the preview is automatically updated on the right. To disable auto update, simply uncheck this box. Let's also add respondent ID and the open-ended variable called satisfaction from the text variables category. We can rearrange the variables by using drag and drop or by using the arrow keys on the right. Now let's move to the Filters tab. Let's use the Income Levels variable as our filter variable. We'll check the boxes next to the values Middle and Upper. This data view will only include respondents who indicated that their income was $50,000 a year or higher. Let's save our work so far and close the editor so we can get a full screen view of the data view. Here you see that each variable we selected is displayed in a column. Each row represents one response or dataset record. We've filtered our data view to contain a subset of the entire dataset. This data view is showing the variable names. Clicking the Show Value Codes item in the action bar allows us to display value codes instead of the value names. Let's click the button again to show value names. We can sort our results in ascending or descending order by clicking on any of the column headers. By clicking the Share button, we can publish a link to this data view on MarketSite's key findings page or post this URL on another website, in an email, or any electronic document. The Export button allows us to export this data view to Excel. Clicking on one of these charting icons will create a scatter plot of the first two numeric variables in the data view. Scatter plots can be printed, exported, and saved to the chart section, just like all other MarketSite charts. For more information about working with scatter plots, see the training video on creating and modifying charts. We can resize a column's width by dragging the boundary on the right side of the column heading. We can also control the pagination and the number of records displayed per page. Now let's learn about the data editing features available in data views. When editing data in a data view, we're actually modifying or deleting data in the current data set. The simplest edit is to delete an entire record or survey response. To delete a record, just click on this box on the left, and the entire record or response will be marked for deletion. As you can see, there's now an X in this box, and the entire row is highlighted in red. You can select individual rows, or you can select all rows to be marked for deletion. 
It's important to point out that even though we're only looking at a subset of the variables or survey questions in this data view, by deleting a row, we are deleting the entire record or response from the data set, including all variables or survey questions for this response, even though those variables are not visible in the data view. We can also edit individual cells in a data view. For survey data, each cell represents a respondent's answer to one question. To edit the data in a cell, just click on the cell and a small editing window will appear. You'll be able to select from a list of available values or you'll be able to enter text or numbers into a box to make your changes. Click the clear button to delete the contents of the cell. Click the undo button to undo all changes since the last time the changes were saved. Click the OK button to insert the new value you've selected or entered. Click the Cancel button to cancel your changes. Once you've made all the changes you need to make in this data view, click Apply Changes to make those changes permanent. We'll click Proceed to apply our edits to this data set. It's important to know that these changes cannot be undone. This concludes our training video for data views.